Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Relified. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. It's happening. Look at it. Right there. Biden says medical condition could prompt him to drop out if doctors came to me. I thought you weren't dropping out for anything. I thought Joe Biden just recently said it would take literally the baby Jesus to come to him and say, you, sir, need to drop out. To which she then said, that's probably not going to happen. So no, I'm not going to drop out. Now look at it. Biden says medical condition could prompt him to drop out. Oh no, I hope he doesn't come down with a medical condition. That would just be crazy. <laughs> uh, Biden, 81, walks very slowly off Air Force One and pauses multiple times after being diagnosed with COVID. As Nancy Pelosi tells him, it's over. I don't know if you saw it, but in this previous one here, at the top, breaking news, Adam Schiff becomes 21st Democrat to call for Biden's ouster. Then it's Nancy Pelosi. So that's that's it. That's it. It's happening. Then we get to this. Obviously, the moment, the the absolute moment, Biden was like, well, you know, it would take a medical condition. Something would have to afflict me. We already know that he has late stage Parkinson's or or some sort of dementia. It's one of the two, maybe both. So the moment he, he, he was like, well, you know, it would be it, it, it would be a doctor coming to me telling me it's time to step down. That's when I would do it. At that moment, we all knew. I know you know. I knew. Everybody that has a brain knows. That was the start. That was them doing the shoulder check before they put on the signal and turn to the off-ramp. You guys have probably driven on a highway. Of course you have. And you're like, oh, there's, there's, there's my exit up there. Well, better shoulder check, shoulder check. Signal and into the lane that I need off the on ramp. That's what that story was. Yeah, if a doctor told me, that's them doing their shoulder check. And this one here, this one here, Biden walks very slowly off of Air Force One. He walked slowly onto Air Force One as well and pauses multiple times after being diagnosed with COVID. All right, so. So the signal now, and then we have this right here. Breaking news! Biden, 81, could drop out this weekend. Bombshell report reveals pressure from top Dems could persuade Joe to step aside in days. So we have uh, reports that Joe Biden is facing calls, like heavy, heavy calls from the entire Democratic Senate. Like the like the the whole Senate, that's a lot. Schiff and Schumer and Pelosi and uh, Jeffries. I know those aren't all senators, but like I'm just saying, like even like all the big names, it's gotten to the point now where Joe Biden has been like, "What are you talking about, man? Look, Kamala can't win." Kamala cannot win to now the point where he's like, well, I guess, do, do, you, do you think Kamala can win? And so Kamala and her team, they're pushing there because they need all the time they can get all the time. The DNC is coming up. It's coming up rapidly. And Kamala wants to be the, 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 the person. Before the DNC, because if there is no person at the DNC or by the time the DNC arrives, then it's going to be an open convention where everyone's going to do their secret ballot thing. So she wants Biden out of the way pronto. So she's almost at this point pushing him like out of the car. So we're going to read this article. We're going to do that now. But 
but like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on X or Twitter. I mean, if it's if, it, if X is gonna act like Twitter, we should probably call it Twitter. But yeah, so at Third Railify on YouTube and Rumble, and at Third Railify on Twitter. If you can, please, for the love of God, follow me on Rumble. My time for on YouTube's not it's, it's not long for this world. Rumble is is um is a big deal for me. So please follow me there. Um and and like the videos if you can. Not not everybody does that. I have I have some bots or some some hate watchers that do a lot of disliking and it th throws off the numbers. Anyways, let's let's um let's talk about Joe Biden here. Joe Biden could step down this weekend. It's been like a really big couple of weeks in politics, eh? Like, holy cow. Several top Democrats are now saying that President Joe Biden could drop out of the presidential race as soon as this weekend. Axios reported on the timeline Thursday that as Biden recuperates from COVID-19 at his beach house in Delaware. This guy has had this this illness, this this virus, um, more times than anybody that that I I I know. He's had it a lot, and he's been. God, you gotta really talk around this stuff, don't you? Uh, he's been medicated. If you know what I mean, prophylactically medicated. The old climate change, uh, pokey poke. Uh. Fully and completely, all, all of them, and their boosters. Yeah, he still has got this thing multiple times, like a lot of times. And so now it's one: does he have it? Like genuinely, does he have it, or could this could this be the excuse, right? Because they're trying to get to that off ramp. Could this be the thing? Where he is now too frail and too old because you know this this particular ailment is uh, harder on the the elderly than it is on the youth. In fact, you could say it doesn't do anything to the youth, but like like any ailment like this, it, it's harder on the the elderly. And so they said, listen, Joe Biden will will say he has this. I mean, maybe and maybe he does have it, but at least we'll say that he has it. So he can step down and have some dignity in doing it as opposed to tucking his tail between his legs or whatever. The president has maintained that he plans to stay in the race, but privately is starting to realize that might be untenable. The report said as polling shows him losing to former President Trump and surveys show how widespread concerns about his age and health. It is becoming a landslide, a landslide. They're like even CNN is predicting he he might get like three hundred and thirty or close to that in the electoral college. Like it is a lot, isn't it? Two seventy to win. Is that is that what it is? Two seventy to win, and they're predicting that he might get three thirty or or a little more than that. This week, conversations he's had with top congressional Democrats have leaked out in the press with reports saying that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and House Minority Leader Hakeem, Hakeem, Hakeem Jeffries uh, pushed him to bow out of the race. They warned Biden that uh, staying in could mean that he could cost Democrats there's seats in Congress. And that's the thing that's gotten really, that's the thing that's gotten a lot of people, like a lot of the Dems really fired up. Because if it was, if it was just the Joe Biden, Donald Trump thing, they, they probably would just mind their own business and be like, okay, well, I guess you're going to, you know, do whatever you want to your career. But there's a whole ballot. A lot of people just down ballot blue or down ballot red they very rarely go well you know for for this level of government i want 
I want blue. But for this one, I want red. But for this one, I want whatever and whatever, whatever. It's just they down ballot the whole thing the same. And they're they're likely going to lose a, a lot of seats. The hosts of the Ruthless podcast, never heard of it, said that during a taping at the Republican National Convention Tuesday that Schumer had been driven to Biden's house in Delaware and told the president to quit. ABC News' Jonathan Carl uh, reported a similar story Wednesday night, calling it a blunt one-on-one conversation and said that the top Senate Democrat forcefully made the case that it would be best if Biden bowed out of the race. The official line remains that those lawmakers didn't pressure the president to quit. (laughs) Because because you can't have it be the official line. Because that would make the palace coup that's taking place uh, very obvious to the people. Um, In fact, it might actually be beyond a palace coup into what is known as a palace revolution. Because they're 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 quite literally they're like throwing Biden and his team from the bus, like he's being kicked out, not gently like convinced. Oh, it's time to go, it's time to go gently into the night, sweet prince. It's they're they're tossing him from a moving vehicle, figuratively. Any further characterization of the private one-on-one meeting between President Biden and leader. Jeffries is speculative and uninformed, a statement um, said. Um, The letter sent by leader Jeffries to House Democratic colleagues speaks for itself. So they're trying trying to keep it quiet, and I guess it makes sense. Uh, Schumer's office sang a similar tune. Unless ABC's source is Chuck Schumer or President Joe Biden, the reporting is idle speculation. So definitely. Trying to keep it all all quiet. Got to keep that palace revolution just quiet. Overall, 20 Democrats have urged Biden to quit the race. On Wednesday, Adam Schiff, who's on track to win the California Senate seat, made his fears public. While the choice to withdraw from the campaign is President Biden's alone, I believe it's time for him to pass on the torch. Uh, Schiff said in a statement, and in doing so, secured his legacy of leadership by allowing us to defeat Donald Trump in the upcoming election. And that's assuming everyone goes out and votes. That's not going to happen. If everyone sits back and thinks, well, you know, Trump's going to win, so it's fine, then Trump will lose. So in order for Trump to get that, that red wave that we keep talking about, it's vital that everyone makes sure that they actually do the thing. That thing is voting. This little piece of hominy gold right here is indication to me that they're already trying to give Joe Biden that I don't know that it's uh they want to they want to give him that dignified exit they it, so he's gonna go but they 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 don't want him to look like a, a doddering old dementia patient so they're gonna they're gonna give him COVID. But it's going to be triumphant. It's going to be a, 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 a last huzzah or whatever. MSNBC's Joy Reid, who's a psychopath, uh, says Biden COVID diagnosis is exactly the same as Trump getting shot. While branding ex-president's assassination attempt as just a photo op. I mean, old Jen Psaki. Little Miss Raggedy Ann herself couldn't help but laugh. She was trying to like purse her lips as to not smile, but you could see like that you could see it cracking. It was it was honestly, it was a character break, like you might see in like a sitcom. Joy Reid was accused of next level desperation after suggesting that Joe Biden's brush with COVID is as heroic as Donald Trump's defiant in the face of an assassination's bullet. And officially, this is the moment right here. We thought maybe it was earlier, but right here, this is the moment that the the mainstream media, establishment media, has jumped the shark. MSNBC host was speaking from the RNC as news broke that the president had canceled the speech in Las Vegas after testing positive for COVID. 
the liberal anchor dismissed the attack on Trump as a photo op and seemed dismayed at the contrast drawn by delegates between the president's frailty and his challenger's vigorous response to being shot. Should he, Biden, be fined in a couple of days, doesn't that convey the exact same thing she demanded? The, the, the answer appeared to be a resounding no from many on social media, where Reed was ridiculed for her mental gymnastics. So here now, I'm going to play the clip, and you're going to watch for two things. One, I want you to watch when Joe Biden goes up the stairs. He really struggles to go up the stairs if you watch the, the actual footage of it. MSNBC has to cut away from that footage as to not show Biden struggling so bad. Two, Jen Psaki starts to laugh at Joy Reid, and so they actually have to cut away from Jen Psaki. It's pretty darn hilarious. Here's the question that I have on that. These two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. Weird situation. We'll figure that out one day. Um, but his survival of that and, th and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. I don't mean to pause and interrupt, but I just I want to say to you that at this moment right now with uh, Joe Biden and um, around everybody, he, he's diagnosed with COVID at this moment, not even a mask on his face. Why is that, everyone? Why doesn't Joe Biden have a mask on? Is he a super spreader? Dun, dun, dun. This uh, current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? That he's strong enough, older than Trump, to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people his age. So if he does fine out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same? They had to cut away. She was breaking exactly character. It's not the same incident, but it's all it's an elderly man it, coming through out of an illness. It should. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, it, um, it cracks me up. It absolutely cracks me up. This video, however, that's Van Jones. He also has Trump derangement syndrome, but he's a little less stupid than Joy Reid. Let's listen to what he has to say. Also speaking from the RNC, but for CNN. A bullet couldn't stop Trump. A virus just stopped Biden. You've got the nominees of this party getting their butts kissed. Biden's getting his butt kicked by his own party. The Democrats are coming apart. The Republicans are coming together. A bullet. Yeah, that's that is uh, that's that 100 percent. So Biden, 81, could drop out this weekend. And it's because of covid. Maybe maybe they'll blame the uh, the the mental fog and, and he doesn't have the ability to do it or whatever. But as as Jack Wasobek had pointed out just a little while ago on on Twitter that if he's too sick to be the nominee, he's too sick to be president. So what's really happening? What's really going on? But anyways, he, he could drop out this weekend. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I love you all. Do like, 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 and uh, subscribe to me on Rumble. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.